Hi guys, it's Becca. I made this next DIY with these super soft microfiber cloths from the Dollar Tree and I cannot wait to show you what I did. So here it is. So to start off, we will be making these really pretty yarn feathers. This is the completed look. These are going to go on top of your pillow. Now you can choose any colors that you would like, but just make sure it's cotton yarn, and I'm using sugar and cream yarn for this project. So firstly, you're going to cut about a 12 inch piece of yarn, fold it over, and then you're going to be making a little loop, a little knot at the top. There are many tutorials on YouTube on how to make these yarn feathers. They've been around for some years and they're all pretty much the same. So I am just going to be doing just a basic tutorial on how to make these feathers. So just tape at the top and bottom on your board. Now you can use a clipboard as well. I just had this piece of wood around and it worked actually really perfectly. So now you're going to be cutting the pieces for your feather. So this is about a six inch piece folded over. Now for this feather, you will need 34 strands of yarn. That's 17 rows but you can make this as big or small as you like so if you wanted to make it a little bit smaller you can just add less rows. So to get started you're going to loop your yarn and you're going to put it underneath of your middle string there. The next piece, you're going to fold over just like that one, but you're going to put that loop underneath of that one there, and then it's going to go over the two pieces of string. Then those two pieces of string are just going to go over that loop there, and then you can pull both sides at the same time and then you're gonna form your knot. So you will just repeat this process until all your, of your rows are formed. So after all your rows are formed, this is where you're going to grab your comb and start combing out your pieces. And as they start to come apart, you'll see the different strands of yarn. And I'd like to start at kind of like the top there and work my way down. And you just want to do this Continually do this until you see all of the strands of yarn come apart.
So now I'm just taking one that I've already completed and I'm just using that as a guide to where to cut my pieces of yarn. And this is about a three inch length that I'm doing here. So taking your comb again, just continue to comb out your strands and you're going to be repeating this process a little bit longer um, until you get your feather the way that you would like it. And you might need to trim up your piece again, just on the edges there. And now you're going to just tie a knot at the bottom. And now you can also comb that piece out. So just continue to comb out your piece and trim it up if you think it needs it. And you can make this as round or as pointy um, as you would like. And here is your completed feather. So after sewing your two microfiber cloths together, now we are going to be sewing our yarn feathers on top of our pillow. And you can space these out on your pillow any way that you would like. I just kind of did it like three, three and a half inches from either side and top to bottom. And then also um, in the middle, I kind of spaced it out about two inches from each other in the middle as well. So taking some color thread that's the same color as your yarn, you just want to sew in the middle of your stem there and just make sure it's secure. After that we're going to stuff our pillow, sew it up and here is the final result. So I really really love how this turned out. I think it looks great. It's really soft and cuddly. I think the yarn feathers look great on there. And I did this project for, it was right around $10 because I used a lot of coupons that I had at AC Moore. So total I 
spent maybe five dollars five to six dollars on the polyfill and I just used coupons for the yarn as well so it was really an expensive project so thank you guys so much for watching and if you aren't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe bye guys